Hi, my name is Eric Becker. I'm a member of Somerville Climate Action and a Somerville homeowner. And we're uh, back again with another segment of Somerville's Going Green. We're going to talk today about renewable energy, in particular solar photovoltaics, or electricity pre produced by solar panels, which we have here on our house. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, why to go solar, uh, whether it's right for you, how the system works, and also what it costs. So join us today. So, you may be asking why go solar? Well, solar isn't just for Arizona or places that get as much uh, sunshine as the desert anymore. Uh, and one of the reasons that uh, solar makes sense in Massachusetts is that we have among the highest electricity prices in the nation, which means the payback on a solar system generating electricity is much quicker. Um, so I see four reasons to go solar. One, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as you use clean renewable elect electricity produced on your rooftop as opposed to electricity produced by utilities from gas, coal, or nuclear energy. Uh, second, over the long term, you'll see a cost savings. As electricity prices rise from the utility companies, they stay exactly the same from your roof, which is once you've paid for it, just keeps on producing free electricity for you. Third, there's a great educational opportunity as you show your neighbors and the community that you're able to uh, install a solar system here in Somerville and use its electricity. And finally, right now there are great government incentives, um, financial incentives to make going solar more affordable. So we'll tell you more about each one of those as we go along. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Is a solar photovoltaic system right for you? Well, the first question to ask is whether you've done as much energy efficiency work as possible on your home or business to reduce your, your energy loads. Then you have to look at whether your building, whether it's your business or your home, is well situated with a south-facing roof that will get as much solar radiation as possible. Our roof has a south-southeast exposure, which is uh, not perfect, but just about perfect for a solar system. Uh, it's important that you have as much solar exposure to the south as possible to make it worthwhile. So how does the solar photovoltaic system work? Well it has three parts. First there are the solar panels that you see up there on our roof. They create electricity from the sun using silicon and create direct current electricity. Uh, second there is an inverter in the basement that takes that electricity from direct current and converts it to alternating current, or AC, which is what most uh, electric appliances and the electric grid use. And third, there's a net meter, uh, which is an electric meter, special electric meter, that when you're producing more electricity on your roof than you're using, turns backwards as that electricity flows out onto the electric utility company's power grid so that our neighbors and uh, can end up using that electricity when we're not using it and then it spins forward when we're using more electricity than we're generating on our roof. I'm in love and it's a sunny day. Good day sun. So we're in my basement now where the guts of the uh, solar photovoltaic system are, namely the inverter which takes the electricity produced on the roof which is in the form of direct current and it transforms it into AC from DC, uh, alternating current, which is what the electric grid and all our appliances work on. So the electricity flows in here and then flows out through an electric meter, which is keeping track of how much we've produced since the day this system was turned on. Um, and uh, the system, this inverter, also tells you on a daily basis how much electricity you've produced and how much it's producing at any particular moment. So this is a solid state net meter, which means it's an electric meter that spins backwards when you're producing more electricity on your roof from your solar panels than you're using in the house. And as you can see, there are some small dots on the bottom right of the screen and they're flowing from right to left, which means that right now we're creating more electricity on our roof than we're using. And during uh, entire months, uh, during the sunny, more sunny periods of the year, your meter will spin backwards if you're conserving energy and producing it on your roof. And you'll end up getting a electric bill with a credit instead of a, um, a charge. And you can save those credits up over the summer and then you use them up in the darker periods of the year. 
We've had our solar photovoltaic system installed on a roof for just under 18 months. And over that period of time, we've generated about 3,000 kilowatt hours of electricity, or about 60% of our total electricity usage. And that saved us about $700 on our utility bills, and has also prevented the emission of about three quarters of a ton of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Welcome Sun. back to another segment of Going Green. Today we're going to continue talking about renewable energy sources, but today it's going to be solar hot water systems. Last time we talked about solar photovoltaic systems, which generate electricity. Solar hot water systems use uh, the energy from the sun to, in a very simple system to heat up hot water, either as a preheat to your gas or oil or electric hot water heater, or when there's a lot of sun as a direct source of your hot water for your home. Behind me is my house with two solar systems on it. On the top, you'll see the solar photovoltaic panels which generate electricity. The larger panels below those are the solar hot water panels. They're very simple with some tubing that goes through them with antifreeze, which heats up and then goes down into the basement which, where it heats up uh, the hot water in a giant tank. We'll show you those later. So this solar hot water system can be used two ways. The way it's used most of the time is to preheat the water that's coming from the city's water pipes, the cold water, preheat it before it flows into our conventional hot water heater, which burns natural gas. So it'll take the water uh, from the street, which might be 45 degrees, and we'll heat it up um, during the winter months or early spring, late fall months, up to maybe 80 degrees, 100 degrees, and then the, in the gas hot water heater, it will be heated up to 120 degrees, which is the comfort level um, that's good for most uses. So, uh, but then in the summer, you can switch it uh, when you're getting a lot of solar um, heating power from, uh, from the sun, you can switch it so that all of your hot water is coming from your solar system. And you can turn off your natural gas tank, turn off the pilot light, and run on pure solar hot water. Right now we're uh, in the near the summer solstice, so we're getting plenty of uh, hot water from the sun, and our gas hot water heater is off. Thank you for joining us again on Somerville's Going Green to learn more about renewable energy. Again, we've talked today about solar photovoltaics, which create electricity, and solar hot water systems, which create hot water for homeowners um, here in Somerville. And it's a technology that's available today and has become increasingly affordable thanks to state and federal tax credits and incentives. And I encourage you to find out more by going to findsolar.com or by joining us at Somerville Climate Action, which you can find at somervilleclimateaction.org. Thanks again for joining us. Dollars a month extra on our mortgage uh, on a monthly payment. Pay what I love about Somerville are the airports. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.